Hey guys, my name is Hie, I'm a Terran player for O-Gaming, and this is going to be my first video that I've done in quite a while. Um, I kind of ran out of ideas on things that I should do uh, for the videos, and um, with a lot of the changes to the med metagame, uh, particularly in TVP, um, I've just been kind of trying to figure, figure out what to do in that matchup. And in the last couple of weeks since the, uh, since the Oracle buff has been changed where uh, the overall speed is increased and the acceleration is, uh, is improved, um, one of the most common builds nowadays in, um, in this matchup is fastest hidden Oracle or fastest proxy Oracle or just Oracle play in general. And so I've kind of come up with, I don't know if I've come up with this, but this is kind of the way that I deal with it and I've never seen anybody else deal with it quite like this and I think it's a really good really annoying way of kind of being annoying back to an annoying Protoss so um, yeah I'm just gonna show you what what I do against it and how I deal with it and I think it's a really good way of dealing with it so um, what we do we open up just standard 12-12 with uh, one Reaper and then we pull out of our gas and then uh, go for a CC on the low ground what our Protoss buddy does is he's going to hide his second pylon up here and build a really, really, really fast Stargate and start building oracles out of it. So, um, I SCB scout, and I always SCB scout in this matchup. Um, there are so many ways to die early to Protoss uh, as Terran that I like to know exactly what he's doing. You know, if, if that means that he's just going for a relatively quick nexus, then I'm perfectly fine with um, with knowing that rather than, than not knowing if he's potentially all inning me. So at this point, we see quite a bit of chrono boost, double gas, only one pylon in his base, with no warp gate research coming, no stalker or zealot coming, and no mothership core coming. So he's mined almost 100 gas from here, and 150 gas from here, just about. So he's mined 250 gas overall. Stargate costs how much gas? 150. So he's got almost 100 gas in his bank. So we know that he, if he's not building a mothership core, he's not building a stalker, and he's not getting warp gate research, this gas that he's mined has to be going somewhere. And of course it's going for a Stargate. So also we see that he has only one pylon in his base. Um, typically when a Protoss player does like hidden blink or something they don't do it off of the second pylon they do it off of the third pylon so the fact that we don't see the second pylon in his base makes me think it's fastest oracle so with this reaper instead of just going cross map and trying to do as much damage um, before his oracle comes out to or his stalker comes out and you know just try and trade and be you know well, he's going to set me behind, so I'm going to set him behind. Um, we actually tr start scouting around with this Reaper. And on two-player maps, it's um, this is typically you won't see a fastest Oracle build on a two on a four-player map. Um, on two-player maps, it's pretty it's pretty easy to find where um where his uh, Stargate is going to be. So meanwhile, I'll actually back up here for just a couple seconds. Boop. Right there. Okay. So as this Reaper is looking around, we send this SCV to his natural to eBay block him. This is not seeing a Nexus here is kind of the last straw to know that he has a, he has hidden tech somewhere. Um, sometimes you will see a really quick Oracle or a really quick Nexus off of fast double gas. If he goes for that fast Nexus, he's probably not going for hidden Oracle, but and he's just banking a lot of gas. So. We start this eBay, and we let it build, and if we had scouted and not seen a Stargate with this Reaper, we would stop this eBay. We would stop it at 99%, which is the standard stop. But because this eBay is already, what, almost a third of the way done, and we know that he's going Oracle, well, we know he's going Stargate, and then we see that he starts an Oracle here in a second, so we see the, the little outline here. We actually let the eBay finish. So now we have our ability to build turrets in our in our main mineral line and our natural uh, mineral line. So he comes and shoes away our Reaper. His first Oracle comes in, and we've already got an eBay almost finished in our main, and it actually finishes before his Oracle can actually get there. And then meanwhile, we have another one coming at our front. Our Reaper is meanwhile doing damage in his main base, 
because the stalker had to deal with this guy. And meanwhile, he just flew an oracle into this turret and just decided to leave. But um, one other thing that this eBay does is that he has to kill this to expand. I mean, yeah, he can expand down here, but if he does expand down here or over here, this is significantly easier for us to um, to either attack one of these two locations or just go w right into his main base. So he doesn't. He basically, from this position, having this eBay in his in his natural, has to has to go for a four gate from this position. So it really it, it it allows us to know exactly what our opponent has to do. Yeah, like I said, he can go for a nexus here or here, but if we just line up a stim timing and just go, he's not going to be able to stop it. So that's kind of the way that that I deal with this. If um oh excuse me, like I said, if we had s scouted and not seen this Stargate anywhere, and it turned out to be Blink or like a really weirdly placed Robo, um we can just stop this eBay and you know have have it basically do the exact same job in blocking the Nexus. So that's kind of the way that I deal with um. With this really annoying Protoss build, is just start the start the eBay in his natural, upon scouting and seeing no mo double gas, no mothership core, no warp gate coming, no um, no stalker coming, and only one pylon. You might see two pylons and have the uh, Stargate proxied on the third pylon, but um, I think the uh, I'm, I'm not sure which is better, but you you can see both. It's just better to scout with um with this Reaper early just to be sure. So that's the way that I deal with it. Um. Like I said, if you guys have seen anybody else do this kind of opening, um, feel free to let me know and I'll credit them with it. I've never seen anybody else do it, so... Or at least I don't think I've seen anybody do it. But, um, yeah, if there are any comments or questions or suggestions, feel free to comment on the uh, in this in the comments below on the YouTube video. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter, at HeAse2. Uh, you can follow my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash HeAse2. Uh, you can also follow my team... Uh, at Team O Gaming Net on Twitter, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.